More news, Georgin, on um, GGU from last week. Fitch Ratings has assigned Georgia Global Utilities a final long-term issuer default rating of B+. The outlook on the idea is stable. Fitch also assigned GGU Senior unsecured five-year USD 250 million notes maturing in July 2025, a final rating of B+. This is the first time that Fitch assigns Georgia Global Utilities final first time IDR B minus bond B plus. B plus correct. And the final IDR and uh, final senior unsecured rating are in line with the expected ratings assigned on 1st of July 2020 and 14th July uh, 2020 respectively. The proceeds are to be largely used uh, for refinancing existing debt and funding eligible green projects. The idea of GGU reflects the consolidated credit profile of its regulated water utility business, Georgian Water and Power LLC, GWP, mm -hmm. and its a fairly higher risk renewable ele electricity business, which is nevertheless supported by long-term power purchase agreements, PPAs. Overall size, asset quality, forex risk, operating and regulatory environment remain key rating constraints. So let's examine key rating drivers um, in more detail. And Fitch expects uh, Georgian Water Power Company uh, to be uh, the most significant operating company for GGU at 72% of overage revenue and 60% of overage EBITDA per year for 2020-2024. Uh, GWP is a regulated water utility with a natural monopoly in Tbilisi. Uh, on the water infrastructure, the remaining business is electricity sales. It operates hydropower plants uh, with an installed capacity of uh, around 145 megawatts. It's linked, it's linked to the water utility with about 50% of electricity generated for own consumption with excess electricity sold uh, predominantly uh, through bilateral agreements uh, with uh, direct customers. Uh, Fitch estimates GGU's regulated water revenue at about uh, 60 percent, adjusting for connection income mm -hmm. in the water segment on average per year for 2020-2024. The remaining revenue is from power generation and sale, which is exposed to volume and price risks in the merchant power segment. This is offset by PPA-based power sales, estimated at about 40 percent of the power segment per year until 2023, and diversification supported by by um, 96 megawatt of installed renewable capacity. Well, GGU is exposed to merchant activity. About 80% of revenue gem generated through bilateral agreements is in August to April of each year when the electricity market is in, in deficit. And Fitch estimates uh, that 2020 results still will be affected by the coronavirus outbreak via a sharp uh, contraction of Georgia's economy by an estimated uh, 4.8% in 2020, Fitch expects GGU to breach our FFO net leverage, excluding connection fees, negative sensitivity of 4.5 before recovering to within the threshold by 2021. Yes, Fitch's key assumptions within the rating case for the issuer are as follows. Water tariff to increase about 60% for households in 2021 and to remain flat in 2022-2023. Water losses dropping to below 35% of total water output in 2023 from around 40% in um, 2019. Mm, also, um, Larry USD um, average exchange rate of uh, 3.1 uh, uh, in 2020 and 3 for um, 2021. Uh, average electricity volume sold of about uh, um, 480,000 uh, megawatt hours per year for 2020-2023. Uh, average annual dividends uh, of about uh, 21 million um, Larry per year. Uh, in the same period, um, a capex of average about uh, 80 million lari per year in the same period again, PPA price to average um, about uh, um, 18.3 um, kilowatt, kilowatt hour up to 2023 20, again. Yeah.